Hey everyone, I'm back with another video uh, showing my A-bag. This is the NAR5 A-bag from North American Rescue. Um, there's not too many videos out there on this bag. There's some for the NAR4. I'm not sure if this is just the next generation or uh, if that's still available or not. But this is an R5. Uh, runs, I think, around $300. Um, I got it without, um, like, not fo uh, without the equipment, without the supplies already built in. So I have all my own stuff. So this one, I like it because of the dimensions of it. I don't know if you saw my video on the Mystery Ranch aid bag, which is a great bag. Um, it's just the sizes are a little different. This one's a little bit bigger, it's just longer. Um, it goes down the back more, so you can see. see it here. But this one's a little taller, um, a little bit wider. Um, this one is good, it's just different size. Um, I can fit a little bit more in an R5 um, than I can in this one. Although I like this one better because it kind of fits well on your back. The straps are kind of molded for your back and there's a little bit of lumbar support here as well as a waist strap. This doesn't have that. So if you're gonna be walking around Long distances more, I'd rather have that, but um, what I do, this works well. Uh, just rectangle, a bunch of stuff packed in it. So, go to the outside first. Got your fold molly webbing on the outside, which is nice. Uh, the ones, the loops on the sides are a little bit longer than the rest. As you can see, I can fit a tourniquet, a uh, full size cat tourniquet um, through there. The rest of these, you couldn't fit a tourniquet. Um, the top has full uh, velcro panel for all your patches. I like that. There's a lot of room. You can put whatever you want there. The side has a little bit of molly webbing. Again, it's the uh, wider, uh, wider strip right there. The back is uh, has kind of a hard plastic um, sheet that goes the whole length of it. Um, and there's a little bit of padding um, underneath that. All your adjustments are done up here. There's a uh, zipper panel, as well as some Velcro. There's a pocket there, and then your adjustments are done in here. So this portion right here is if you want to tuck the straps in, uh, they just unbuckle at the bottom and they can slide in the back panel as well as the bottom. They can uh, feed in through this uh, little portion here and it'll streamline the uh, back portion so if you don't want it caught in, like if you're moving through vehicle or something, you just want to carry it, um, you can unhook those, feed them in the back. So the straps are... Uh, pretty nice. There's a lot of padding. There's a lot of padding on these straps. Uh, there's no waist strap, so that's why if you're going long distances, it's not going to be as comfortable. Um, but kind of your standard stuff. Um, I like the thick straps though, the thick padding. Then it has your uh, chest clasp as well. Um, that's pretty much it for the back. Not too much going on there. But this side, again, same thing. Just a thick, wider molly webbing. Then the top has kind of like your M9 style um, grab handle, like that. Some Velcro there, keeps it slim. Um, good reinforcement on the top. I th I don't, I'm not too worried about that. It's just a little thin. I'd like it a little bit wider since this is a big bag. You can fit a lot in here. Um, this strap's just a little thin, but it does the job. So outside, I just have some things I might need in a hurry. Gloves, EpiPen, trauma shears, Sharpie, NCD, chem light. 
pin some zip ties and tourniquet. Um, the loops on each zipper is sufficient. It's a little short. I like having a little bit more to grab onto, so I added some there. Um, but all the zippers on this bag are excellent. I'm not sure what they call it. Uh, I think it's kind of like a reverse zipper. So the, um, it's kind of protected from the weather and rain and stuff. Uh, same with all the material, it's kind of that water resistant material. But all the zippers open really easy. I like that you can just one hand it. Very smooth operation. Um, so this bag didn't come like this. Um, it comes with these two large pockets and then I added these because I just like having the open window. Um, this has this also. But it comes with four of these uh, little module pouches which are pretty nice. Um, if I had velcro designation for each um, for each phase, I guess, I would probably use these, but since I don't have nice Velcro patches, I have one here, but I don't have one for each uh, category, um, I just like being able to see what's in there, but pretty good patches, or pouches, a um, little Velcro on the top and on the front, which is cool, and the back just has two strips, because um, this whole back panel is um, has Velcro on it. That kind of right there, all velcro on the back. These pouches have a lot of velcro, so it's kind of hard to get out. But it comes with four of these. Um, I like the zippers are red, that's pretty cool. Same with um, these built in pockets, these two just are velcro uh, operation. But it comes with four of these, so um, the two strips of velcro holds it in well, but it's also pretty easy to pull out, so that's good. But there's just some extra pat pouches now that I have there. But for what I run in it, uh, if you guys wanna see a breakdown of everything, um, I can show you that. It's pretty much the same as my other video with my mystery ranch bag. Um, I just kinda took those pouches and put them in here, and all their contents. So no really hidden pockets. The mystery ranch one has a lot of uh, small things going on, but this is Pretty standard, um, just kind of your big clamshell opening bag. Uh, I'll talk about these pouches since they uh, come with it. These are nice. This is all my band aids, uh, suture, minor cuts and wounds kind of stuff. So it's a large pocket. I like how big these pockets are. Um, and there's a lot of Velcro to hold it down, so you can, uh, if you need more room, you can adjust it. But the, uh, there's a divider in the middle here. And this outer portion just has, it's just a pocket, just a large pocket right here, as you can see. And then this back portion has some elastic webbing. So one large one, two medium ones, and then a bunch of small ones. I'll just pull this out so you can see it. Again, uh, just the two strips of velcro so all my minor stuff in here um, trying to get a view these small small elastic bands right here um, there's a row on the top and a row on the bottom which match uh, you can see here my tweezers fit nicely there's not a lot you could really fit in these tiny ones So maybe pencils, um, I'm not really sure what else you can fit in there. Maybe a needle for IV, you can fit one, uh, like an 18 gauge needle maybe in there in its package. Um, but that's pretty much the pouch, not too much about it. Um, pretty good design though, I like that. Not too complicated, not too simple. So my minor wounds, and here's all my IV stuff, so fit two uh, 500 mil bags in here, and then, as you can see, I got kind of my IV stuff, you know, 
pachyderms, things like that, needles, alcohol wipes. Uh, another cool feature that I like about this um, has this clasp right here in the middle. So I put some tape and some, uh, oh, I got the clip stuck in there, and some Coban right there. I like having it centralized. Um, so I do keep tape and gloves still in every pocket, uh, every pouch, but I like having just um, one right in the middle that you can always count on. It has a full length pocket kind of tucked in here that goes all the way up to the top of the bag. Stuff. So just in here, I can keep my blanket. Um, I keep some Sam splints. So as you can see, it fits, goes all the way up to the top. It's pretty cool. Um, Cause there's not really another place that I could fit my blanket and my Sam splints. It kind of uh, take up a lot of room. I already got a bunch of stuff, so. Very nice uh, full length pocket. Then these are built in. I kind of wish they did something different here. I'm not sure really um, if they were mesh. That would be nice because you got, could kind of see what's in here, but also if they're mesh, if any water or blood gets on them, it's going to penetrate and get on your supplies. So it's, I guess this is the best, uh, best idea they could come up with, which uh, works well. This material is water resistant, so it's going to protect all your supplies in here. Um, I just wish there was some, maybe a Velcro strip on each pocket where you could designate it. Um, Cause if you don't know what's in here, there's uh, your, you can fit a lot of stuff in here. So you can kind of just be blind searching through each pocket. Um, but it's laid out well, if they're maybe detachable, that would be uh, cool also. But there's a lot of bags like that that just have Velcro paneling on both sides. So this is a little different, but you got a large, uh, medium and small pouch basically. Um, in here I keep all my breathing and airway stuff. So took out my BVM from its uh, hard case because that takes up a lot of room. So I can fit that in there. Um, I got my Easy IO um, sharps container. I'm not sure why that's in there. Put that in the wrong spot. But uh, some airway breathing stuff in here. Mainly, uh, BVM takes up a lot of room, but there's not much you can do about that. Here I keep all of my diagnostic equipment. So my otoscope, blood pressure cuff, some extra batteries for the otoscope. Um, got a little infrared thermometer, pulse ox, um, and stethoscope. Some other diagnostic things in there also, but not much to talk about there. And then up here, all of my uh, medications. So it's a little bit smaller pocket, but I can fit um, pretty much everything I need in here. Um, same as that bag, but got EpiPens, Pepto-Bismol, um, Bradine, some uh, over-the-counter stuff, Sharpies, some biohazard bags. But uh, that's pretty much it on the bag. Um, Pretty cool bag, I like it a lot. Uh, I've walked quite a distance through the woods with it um, a few times, and I was kind of having some trouble adjusting uh, the straps, because since it's just a big rectangle, it was kind of hanging crooked on my body. So there's a big uh, Velcro panel you can see right here to adjust them. So it's a little difficult to get it adjusted, but once I got it, um, it was pretty comfortable. Again, it's just a flat back, so it doesn't fit your spine, fit your body very well. Um, so not great for long distances, but I like it. Um, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty standard design, kind of just like an M9 bag, it's just bigger. Um, so it's familiar, but different at the same time, which which I like. And uh, I think I've been using it for about six months, and it's worked really well. 
the um, shoulder straps. It is single stitch for the shoulder straps uh, right here, but it's also held on um, by these clips, which I'm not sure the stitching um, up here for these, but the weight's supported evenly on both. Um, so not too worried about it. If you're gonna, if you're that worried about it, the straps not being strong enough, might be walking too far with it. I need something else, but for what it is, it works well. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, if you want me to go through more detailed, I can. Um, and that's about it. Thanks. Have a good day.